BBC JP here, and we are about to compare these guys. These guys. All right, so this is the Note 9S. This is the Poco M3. This is the Redmi Note, not, Note 8 2021. Okay, and I'll tell you the pros and cons of each. So, and also the prices. So, okay. And which one you should get, it's up to you. I guess it just depends on what you want. So, as you guys can see, this is the smallest phone out of all of them. Um, screen size. Uh, and, hmm, okay, so the screen is smaller on this phone. It's a smaller phone in general. It's a nice phone. It's a great phone. I like this phone. It's a sturdy phone. Um, it feels like a quality phone. It feels like uh, this phone probably, let me tell you exactly. So this phone probably cost me about $400. Like three, yeah, like, hmm, like $450 around there, $450. And that is um, in the month of October. So in the month of October of 2021, this phone cost me brand new about $400. I mean, we've had all the shipping delays, all these uh, things, and things have been getting a little bit more expensive, chip shortages, um, etc. So, um yeah okay so that's what i like about this phone this phone is good uh okay let me tell you what i like about the poco m3 i like that it has a big screen just like the more expensive uh note 9s um has a bright screen it has a um has a snapdragon 660 i believe and uh, and it has a big battery, six thousand, uh, um, six thousand. Um, I don't know what they call them. Uh, I guess like uh, milliamps or something. Yeah. So um, has a big battery, six thousand. And uh, yeah. Okay. So then let's go to the the Redmi Note Nine S. I've had this phone the longest. I've had this phone for probably a year now and it is it's worked flawlessly it's a great camera it's a great phone um, it really is it's quick it's snappy uh, it's responsive good camera for the price um, I believe I paid about also four hundred dollars but this was last year before all the shipping shortages and stuff. Things were still coming in pretty cheaply. And uh, I think this phone actually has maintained or has risen in price since then. Um, simply because it has a pretty good uh, Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon. Uh, I believe it has a 770, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or it's like 720s or something like that. It's got a pretty. It's pretty quick. It plays pretty much every single game, um, with uh, very little lag, if any at all. It just depends on the game. And uh, yeah, I mean, if uh, if you can get this phone, I would rec recommend it. It feels so good. It feels uh, so 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 solid. It feels like a solid phone. It feels like a thousand dollar phone. Seriously, it feels like a thousand dollar phone looks like a thousand dollar phone uh i would recommend this phone to anybody you know okay so with that being said let's go to the poco m3 so the poco m3 yeah it has a snapdragon it's quick uh so yes they they uh they all have uh the face unlock they this one has the unlock also on the side with your finger 
like the Note 9 S. Um, it's quick, it's snappy, it's a, it's a great phone. So, so yeah, I mean, it's a quick, it's a great phone. Seriously. Let's see, that was a Face ID, it was quick. Um, downside to this, mm, okay, well, let's continue with the good stuff. The big battery, uh, face unlock, uh, the processor, okay. Mm, four gigs of RAM, not the best. This one has, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, I forgot, but uh, it has six. This has six gigs of RAM and 120, let me check really quick. Yeah, and 128 uh, gigs of, mem of uh, storage. So six gigs of RAM, 128, four gigs of RAM, and 64 gigs and I'm guessing that's because you're getting the the Qualcomm Snapdragon so that's probably why you get the less so okay so that brings me to this phone this phone right here feels sturdier looks more expensive than the Poco, it's, it's sturdier, it looks more expensive. This is the Note 8, the Redmi Note 8 2021. Um, it has uh, four gigs of RAM, uh, and uh, it has 128 gigs of storage. However, the processor on this, and it's quick, it's snappy, it has the uh, the fingerprint on the back it has a face uh, face unlock. Um, it's a quick phone. However, it has a, I believe it's got a MediaTek um, processor, which is good. However, it's not like the the Qualcomm. So I mean, I'm guessing that you're paying for the for the brand on that one. So so yeah. Um, these two right here are, these are all probably the same price. And this is the best one, clearly. Six gigs, um, six gigs of RAM, 128, uh, all that good stuff. This one's probably more expensive actually now, now that I think about it because of all the ship, uh, the shipping delays and all that stuff. But, um, this, when I bought it a year ago, was the same price as these. These are newer. These recently came out. Um, and the reason being is because of the shipping shortages. So, um, price of the, the, the ship uh, manufacturers also and all that stuff. So, everything's gone up in price. And... Um, I would get this one because it's clearly the winner. It's got everything. Six gigs, 128, and a Snapdragon uh, 720S. Now these two are, I mean, I guess, I guess it just depends on you. They're the same price. Uh, one just has a better processor which is this one, because it's Snapdragon, in my opinion. So this one's got the MediaTek. They both have four gigs of RAM. And uh, however, this one's got uh, 128 uh, gigs of storage, and this one's got 64. So better processor, less memory. Um, I guess different processor. I don't want to say less, less processor, but uh, different processor. Um, and uh, and more storage, so I guess you can pick on those. Oh, however, this one also has a bigger battery, so it'll last you longer. This one right here has a 5,000 uh, milliamps battery, uh, and it I it yeah. This one also comes with a fast charger. Uh, these all fast charge, 
none of these um, have like that credit card reader thing. Uh, I think it's uh, NF something, um, the credit card reader, the scanner. Um, and uh, what else can I tell you about these phones? So, I don't know. Both of these have good build quality. This one, not as much. Mm. They all have a USB-C. They all have uh, three slots, uh, two for uh, SIM cards, so dual SIMs in each phone, and um, an extra slot for micro SD to add more memory. Um, so you can do that with any one of these phones, which is what I've, uh, which I've, which is what I've done. And and what else, guys? Mm, I guess it's up to you. Whatever you guys want to do. They're all about 400 bucks right now, which is a, it's a, it's a steal. Um, I bought it from a, uh, a local retailer here, or a reseller. Uh, but I'm sure you can get it for maybe uh, less than that, even that in, on uh, AliExpress or Alibaba or something like that. So, however, I don't know how long it's going to take to receive it. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, these are great phones. These are Chinese. They do all uh, support the the Google Play Store, not like the the Huawei's. Mm. So yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess it's up to you guys. But in my opinion, I would still get this one year old phone. <laughs> this one year old phone is still the better phone, simply because they haven't been able to upgrade without raising their prices so you know they've been uh raising raising the prices with but without like i said a million times in this video probably tired of listening to it uh, because of all the shortages uh they have um made i guess less less of a phone for the same amount of money and then even the you know the other phones, if you get a new one, this phone is still going to be worth probably 100 bucks more than than these phones, even though it's older. But however, they all support um, uh, Android 11, I believe, the latest one. I believe it's 11. And they all support the, the latest uh, MI... The the Xiaomi operating system, the latest one, I believe is like 12.5 or something like that. So, and these will also support the, uh, the next upgrade for Android and for the, the Xiaomi. So hmm, these phones are still good for a couple more years and for 400 bucks, you can't go wrong with it, especially if, if it's for work or Something simple, easy tasks. This one can pretty much do anything a uh, Samsung or I don't know, whatever other phone, an iPhone um, can do. Um, maybe like not the as quick, <laughs> but it can still get it done. This one is a, it's a, it's my little beast. Um, I love it. It's pretty good. I, this is like my daily not my daily driver i have a an iphone that's my daily driver as well but um but that's my daily android driver and uh, it works great and uh, these are work phones and uh they they work great for what they're supposed to and they haven't failed me and uh that's why i keep buying these phones these phones uh these xiaomi phones are a great 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 buy they're a steal um if you uh so yeah if you like this video please smash that like button subscribe to my channel uh sorry for this unedited rant and review <laughs> uh however uh i don't have the time uh to edit these videos nor the knowledge to be quite honest so or the time to learn the knowledge to edit these videos just uh you know if uh, if you like the video just hit a thumbs up so uh i would appreciate it and uh love you guys take care